Hello friends. Today we are uh, we are going to talk about uh, XML management interface of the Data Power. So uh, Data Power provides you many different interfaces through which you can interact with uh, this appliance. People usually choose XML management interface when they want to automate the appliance management task. Uh, so uh, they have the uh, they have uh, the client uh, which basically uh, invokes the scripts uh, so that the appliance can be managed in uh, in an automated way. Another use is that uh, uh, the XML management interface serves as the pr primary point uh, which allows you to interact with the data power appliance in a programmatic way. So uh, we are uh, going to see how to configure this XML management interface and we will also see a sample uh, request how they are created and uh, how uh, we get information back from that XML management interface. So let's get started. You can find uh, first of all you need to be an administrator in order to uh, in order to uh, uh, enable the XML management interface. So uh, log in to your default domain with your administrative credentials. Go to network then management and then XML management interface and once you click it you will see this interface over here. Now it has three tabs we will talk about each one of them uh, separately. First is the main tab. So main tab uh, in the main tab uh, make the administrative uh, state as enabled. Uh, usually it is disabled by default. Uh, local IP usually here uh, you will find 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0. Uh, so, uh, I will suggest remove that entry and put uh, administrative uh, IP address over here just like I have put it over here. Port number, keep it default, it is 5050 by default. <coughs> then you need to configure the access control list. Access control list works as usual in the data power. So, it allows you to uh, fine grain your access if, uh, if so that uh, everybody do not have an access on the uh, XML management interface. So you can provide IP addresses or IP address range, uh, which uh, which is something like providing uh, IP based restriction to this uh, uh, to this uh, functionality. So you have access control list option over here, and uh, you can go ahead and you can add or remove access control IP addresses or IP address range over here in the entry uh, tab. So, I have kept it as allow as 0.0.0. .0. I mean, it will allow uh, request from anywhere. This is just for test purpose. For production uses, you, you should consider uh, using a fine grain, uh, uh, fine grain uh, address range. Now, uh, about enabled services. So, uh, this is pretty much exhaustive. For this point, I will say that uh, uh, as a standard, uh, enable only SOAP configuration management and AMP endpoint. So, uh, in older versions, you will also find an option. In older versions of the data power appliance, you will also find an option which says enable all, which is something like uh, uh, star kind of thing, enable all the functionalities. Uh, do not use that because uh, it provides you uh, more difficulty than it solves the problem because there are conflicts that might happen and uh, 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 despite the fact that uh, your request is well formed, uh, data power will not respond or will it respond in the way that you do not want. So, <coughs> uh, make these two options enable and uh, uh, once this is done, uh, in the advanced, uh, there is nothing needs to be done. So, SLM, uh, we will not talk about it and we, we will leave it for further purpose. So enable these two services and then click apply and then ok. So, this is all that you need to do uh, about XML management interface. <coughs> now, having said that, that you configured your XML management interface, this is the time to, uh, this is the time to build uh, a simple, simple SOAP request and then send it to the data power appliance so that uh, we can get information programmatically. But the point is that uh, uh, how do we form such a SOAP request? Usually, SOAP requests are formed 
uh, when you have a WSDL. So, uh, where is the visitor? Uh, where are the services? Uh, uh, what are the services listed over there? So, to answer these questions, you need to go to the data power file system, go to the store and locate the file app management protocol v3 you can you can very well use app management protocol file as well i mean uh, this is these are the different versions of this thing so you need to download two files one app management protocol dot wsdl and app management protocol dot xst in the same directory if you want to use newer version use v2 or v3 I have uh, downloaded both these three, both these files, v v3 and v3.xst, and I have used uh, SOAP UI, which is a free tool, to uh, as a as a SOAP client to create uh, SOAP requests. So I have imported those files in the SOAP UI, and they look it like this. So here is uh, my subscription, and once you subscribe, you will see you have a lot of operations available over here now let's see uh, <clears throat> if i click here i will see uh, this window getting open so let me close it and let me click it yeah so this window getting open and i am trying to find out device info which which is the simplest operation uh, should i go ahead and execute this as it is i will say no i pause for a moment and uh, you need to do two things first uh, uh, looking at here you're looking at here uh, this is the uh, endpoint uri uh, if you download the the two files uh, especially the app management protocol dot the the xst uh, the wsdl file it will not have this ip address and this port it will say something like star ip address star port you need to edit that or what you can do better in a better way is that you you go ahead and you edit in open it in an editor and go downwards and edit the visitor directly to provide ip address and port once you have an IP address and port, you can uh, then uh, definitely import it into a SOAP UI and the SOAP UI will automatically pick up the endpoint address. This is the first thing that you should uh, <coughs> take here. Second thing is that uh, the service requires a basic authentication. So authorization type is basic and I have provided a username and the corresponding password without it the service will throw an access exception so these two things you need to take here and now we are good to go let's see what happens oh we have got the information from uh, uh, data power appliance so it shows you all the information related to data power appliance I will say thank you for watching my video that's all for today and you have learned uh, data power uh, XML management interface this is a basic introduction you can see uh, more about uh, this uh, you can learn more about this data power uh, soap based management uh, access SOMA which is which is called SOMA uh, uh, in the IBM data power uh, documentation on its site uh, this is a small introduction thanks for watching this video this is a tutorial